All right, um, I like this problem because it gets so many students um, confused. So I wanna make sure I have a video that you can watch this, which I think is so cool. Um, you can go to you know, watch this and be like, ah, I got you. You're not gonna get me on this one on like a test problem or something like that. So here the problem says negative x or the opposite of a, a number minus four equals 11. So you can think about that in your head and say, all right, the opposite of a number, um, you know, minus four is gonna equal 11. And it might be a little confusing, thinking of the opposite or the negative. So remember, when using this is, we just need to use our operations, our inverse operations, to find that value of x that's gonna make that equation true, or that statement, as I said, true. So the first thing we always wanna do is subtraction. So I noticed that, and remember, we wanna solve for x. Right now I have negative x. I need to find solve always for the positive value of x. So right now I have um, negative four, or I'm having x being minus by, being subtracted by four, so I need to undo that by adding a four. And I'm gonna add a four on both sides by the addition property of equality. So I have negative x equals 11 plus four is 15. Remember negative four plus four goes to zero. So now I have negative x, and a lot of students will say, oh, got it done, right, you solve for x. But remember, there's that negative, negative, uh, negative sign in front of that x. So what is that negative sign doing? Remember, by the multiplication property of negative one, that negative sign is really saying negative one times x equals 15. Those are equivalent, all right? So negative x is the same thing as saying negative one times x. So in reality, I'm actually multiplying by a negative one. So to undo multiplying by negative one, I need to divide by negative one. So I divide by negative one, negative one divided by negative one is one, one times x is x equals 15 divided by negative one, it equals a negative 15. So therefore, the value of x that makes this equation true is negative 15. And we can always check our solution, do a negative, the opposite of a negative number minus four equals 11. Well, the opposite of a negative number is positive, so it's 15 minus four equals 11. 15 minus four, 11 equals 11. There you go, check the statement, it's all good, done.